The death of Umbongeni Ngema raised a lot of dramatic events on social media. Dumela Kazi, welcome back to the cafe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. On this video, we are talking about none other than the late legend or legendary um, musician, legendary songwriter legendary producer and all of those things he had a huge impact in our entertainment industry so we are talking about the events that are happening right now or things that are trending about him um just after we received or just after it was televised or it was shared on a social media platform that he is no more involved in a very 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 bad um, accident so if you'd like to hear more about this one please do stick around let's get into this So, Tommy, unfortunately, between December, between November and December, I always say these are the darkest, darkest months when it comes to people dying, right? You will find people dying because of accidents, which, which is the biggest um, cause of death, especially during December. Um, you will find people who get injured or whatever because of fighting, cr crime, and, and all, all of the above, like crime, and, and you can count fighting and stuff like that, or excessive drinking and all of those things. And then um, people will just get sick for a short space of time, and then they are gone. Um, that is between December, Jan um, November, December. And as you all know, um, one of our greatest, greatest singers, greatest songwriter, greatest vocalist um, was just laid to rest a couple of days ago. Um, may, her rest, uh, may her soul rest in peace, that's Zahara um, Kutukana or Bulelam Kutukana. But anyway, so now um, accident happened in the Eastern Cape somewhere. They were traveling, um, Bongeni Gema, and um, the driver, I don't know who else was in the car because apparently someone was driving the car. He was just a passenger in the car and stuff like that. So the accident happened and someone shared the news on social media. And um, there were very mixed reaction to his death. There are people who knows his legendary status when it comes to filmmaking, when it comes to music, when it comes to production as a whole, um, or theater production and all of those things. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Dove Stove Well Itini Stove Sam Sama Long Way. Standa no buvuta baby yo or I would say Sarafina. And in that Sarafina there was a lady who was who I personally was introduced to was Lileti Kumalo. Very young, very talented. Um obviously I was very young when I was watching um that 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 um Sarafina film. Um, but this lady was beautiful, very ambitious, and all of those things. Apparently, allegedly, um, I think this one, I would say that's what Lily Tukumalo said. I think it was on the interview or something like that years back that um, in the marriage that he had, in the marriage that she had with Mbongeni Ngema, she was married to Mbongeni Ngema at some point at, at a very young age, um, was very abusive um, emotionally, I think sexually, and um i think also if i'm not mistaken um physically and stuff like that right and um apparently now people are coming out and saying that um good riddance um it was the time that he pays for his sins and stuff like that obviously they are a lot of people who are sending their condolences to their family and celebrating his life and there are a lot of people as well that are saying that he was a pedophile he was a predator he took advantage of young girls and apparently allegedly he met uleleti kumalo when he when leleti kumalo was just 14 years old at that time you are naive you want to be in a show business and um, being famous was a thing because we um, a lot of people thought that when you are famous, you've got money and all of those things. 
and um, so he preyed on these girls using that method that I'm a powerful person um, I can help you to succeed and which he did have a hand helping Ulele Tikumalo to succeed because now we are talking about a legend this story is kind of like the same story as the story of one of the legendary singers songwriters very um, biggest vocal vocal vocalist in one of the biggest vocalists in the world who is mariah carey who was married to her boss when she was just i think a teenager the same thing she was powerful um he was powerful he was tommy matola he was powerful he was working for sony he was a big boss for Sony and stuff like that. And he had an ability and capabilities to actually push Mariah Carey to be the big star that she is right now. And um, so he did groom Mariah Carey. So the same thing that people are saying about Lily Kumal and the same thing that she also spoke about on one of those um, interviews or something like that, that she was groomed or... Um, the relationship was not really maybe it was not supposed to be to even happen but it felt like it's supposed to happen because obviously um he held her or propelled her to be to be what she is right now so people are not happy people are like mm, Ophile, we don't care it's fine we are so happy there's nothing to be to be said about there's nothing to be sorry about and all of those things and there are other people who are saying you cannot do that to a dead person if someone is passed on you shouldn't be talking bad about them and all of those things you should be ashamed of yourself ubuntu black people our cultures are like this and this and that and that um that explanation i don't like at all i'm not saying all sides the both sides are right i'm not saying both sides are wrong but that that saying that we shouldn't be doing that and stuff like that people are should be allowed to voice out their own frustration doesn't matter if you are dead or you are alive they couldn't they couldn't actually speak out when you are still alive because they did not have any grounds to actually speak about it and right now they are not even speaking about the whole thing they are just saying that this is what you did you don't deserve any sympathy um and all of those things now the family his family will have to to go and pick up the pieces because people will still have their own opinions people shouldn't shouldn't um, police other people when they are saying the dead was a piece of shit right if he was then he was even if when he's dead we we obviously no one is gonna be saying that oh yeah, uh, we i think we should sh 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 we should have passed that stage already we have seen that they are toxic people within our black communities and they will they should be called out when they are still alive and when they are dead anyway please tell me what you think about this whole thing i'll see you on my next upload have a fantastic one and also please let me know how was your christmas how is your festive season treating you i hope you are safe i hope you are still praying Yonke Int, subscribe and I'll see you on my next upload. Have a fantastic one. Peace out.